Good morning, YouTube. What's up? It's your girl, Dara. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, I've been working on content. So expect that to be uploaded pretty soon within the next few days um, to give you guys an update with me. I've been having a little bit of um, some physical issues. I had to go to the doctor and that's actually what, what one of my videos will be about. Um, just going to give you some background on me and some of the things I've had to deal with physically. But overall, I am blessed. Today is a great day. The sun isn't out, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling blessed. I'm just thankful for all that God is doing in my life and in your life. Because I assure you, if you are watching this video, God woke you up this morning. So just be thankful for that. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to The Dara Show. We got some good stuff coming. And that's it. I just wanted to say what's up continue to keep me in your prayers and i will do the same all right love you you too peace out it's a lot of surgery and you're gonna need you know because it's right i'm sorry you said the c-reactive was a or that was a little high yeah and that normally means that well it doesn't necessarily mean anything so it's okay. just it's just a marker of inflammation so um so if they're high then that's when we say we got to try to get some fluid up there to prove or not prove whether it's infection. Okay. So. And if it is infected, um, you take the fluid off to see if it's infected. If it is infected, then that would be a different conversation. We would need to go that's, in and remove all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's big surgery, going in there, taking all the parts out, and, and putting a temporary knee in there while you fight the infection. So. Or just, what, were, what were the spacers you were talking about? For? That's the temporary knee. The spacer oh. or temporary knee, yeah. So, yeah, it, it stinks and it's not nothing good to have. So, the chances are you don't have it, to be honest with you, because it'd be a little bit strange to just get an infection out of the blue that is just not sort of red and hot and swollen. And well, that's... It's not impossible, but it can happen. Uh, but it, it'd be a little strange. That's today. Like I have, I don't know if you want to see pictures. I have pictures of, <laughs> it was really ugly the other day. Did it swell up a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I hope, you know, maybe it's, the infection's gone. I don't know. <laughs> they don't Is it something to, that it's would. As nice as that sounds, if, they don't tend to disappear. If there if there uh, was infection is it something that would like the swelling could potentially go down up and down or is it going to always be swollen what was the last question i was asking if there is infection is it a permanent swelling like would it always be swollen and red if you left it alone, if you didn't treat it. Right, like, um, you know how some days are good and some days are bad. That's what I'm saying. Like, so right now it's not swollen. So does that mean that there is an infection is what I'm saying? Oh, I get your question. Okay, so, yeah, so you'd think an infection would be pretty consistently right. swollen, whereas loose parts tend to act more like what you're talking about, where yeah. it's swollen maybe with more activity, it swells up, gets more irritated, or just weather changes, weird stuff like that. So, okay. yeah, so I think, yeah, good good point. It um, hopefully leads you more towards a non-infection thing, but because of the lab numbers and the bone scan, you, you have to prove it with actual samples instead of making a mm -hmm. all right so let's get some fluid off of there unfortunately we can't use freezing spray on the knee because we don't want it to affect the uh the labs or the culture so okay um, um, so no, normally when you've had knee replacements over here this is not quite as sensitive so we'll go over here So you just have to keep right like that. I'm not going to surprise you with a needle or anything. I'm just going to find the spot. And I still feel like there's fluid in there. Like I'm, yeah. I'm feeling fluid in there. So we should be able to get something off. And it's actually down today. 
<laughs> yeah. Mark in the spot and you're not the mule yet. Crystal clear, That's which good. means I'm going to bet the, the farm or the house, however you want to say it, that it's not infectious. Good. But we still have to send it just to prove it. Okay. Uh, that generally then means what's causing all the flu, and it's probably some loose parts. Okay. Which is understandable because it's been in there <laughs> yeah. for a million years, but. So then the next question is, if it's not infectious, then we should talk about possibly doing more surgery on you. Um, in which case, how soon do you want to do it? It's not emergent, um, but it's not something we should make you wait for two months for. Um, I'm so tired of pain. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can I ask you a question? I don't know. I know you don't, or do you deal with uh, issues with ankles and stuff? So I don't actually. Do you know what this might be? So I've been getting like this pinchy, ouch feeling. This, not the green veins, but the uh, other one, like the little red one. I no? don't know, to be honest with you. Okay. No. So the, I mean, I mean the blue veins, the, the stuff under those are just the real normal veins. Those things are just super. No, Dr. Werner. Okay. There's also, um, Dr. Werner is the orthopedic doctor, and then there's another doctor who's also a podiatrist, a female podiatrist, okay. who he works with as well. So between the two of them, we tend to send our foot stuff. Them. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking may, it might have something to do with, you know, the surgeries, maybe or no. With your knee surgery? No, I had uh, I have a plate and screws. I it's broke my tip. Yeah, so. Possibly, yeah, it, yeah. Okay. Okay. So when do we get the results for the? Uh, It'll take about five days or so for all the cultures to be finally cooked and, and negative. Okay. The question that goes back to you is, you know, how soon are you wanting to try to figure this out? It's not like I could, you got a potentially really big surgery, so I need, I mean, this is something that's probably going to take three hours of surgery anyway, so it's not something that I can just squeeze in at the end of the day, so uh -huh. it's going to take some planning, so I need to try to figure out when we can do this. Okay, I'll have uh, to talk to my husband, okay. but... I did want to ask you in regards to the parts. Is that going to be an issue? Uh, no, I just need to figure out. It, it looks like it's one of the major companies' parts. I just have to usually what we'll do is we'll send the uh, we'll text the pictures out to the, the major companies and say, "Is this your parts?" And then that way, during surgery, we have in case it's not a full revision, in case just one side is loose, then we can just replace one side. Um, okay. And the pain in here, extra there. the pain right here and here, the doc, other doctor uh, mentioned meniscus. Um, you don't have meniscus. That's what I said. Like, I didn't, I didn't understand why he said that. There's many surgeries removed from the meniscus. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the doctor that referred me to you. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> he said that a couple times. And I'm like, oh, uh, wait. I forgot that you had a revision knee implant in there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <laughs>
What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Dara here. So, I am at Arlington Orthopedics. I, I twisted up my hair. Um, I just want to get up close and personal with you guys before the doctor gets in. I've been having some really bad issues with my knees, and um, I've always had issues with my knees since I can remember. Back when I was 12, um, the doctor used to say it was growing pains, but basically my knee would just pop out. Um, I was the girl in middle school who had to wear uh, stability braces. So like the brace where I couldn't, uh, my knee had to stay straight all the time. At 17, um, playing AAU basketball, Philadelphia tournament, tore my ACL. I think the doctor's coming in. I'll be back. All right, sorry for the interruption. Okay, so I broke my femur while in Virginia um, visiting for a funeral. Had a procedure done there, uh, the doctor did the surgery there and while they were doing the surgery apparently a nail broke or a screw broke not a nail a screw broke and instead of removing the screw and just replacing it they sort of just tapped the screw into place so that it would meet the other half and just kind of and left it in there I don't know that's another story so I've had a lot of issues um, with my knee not to mention at that time my son was six months went back to Pittsburgh and was on oh I think I couldn't um, was on bed rest I couldn't no weight of course, I was 21 at the time. <laughs> it was so hard for me. Um, I probably didn't listen. Like when I felt decent enough, I would just kind of put a little bit of weight. I should have listened. Um, but the surgery that they did where they tapped the screw in, the doctor that I saw in Pittsburgh just didn't understand why he had done that. So they did another arthroscopy. Um, surgery in Pittsburgh at 21 the doctor asked me or he gave me the options he said we can either make your knee stiff for the rest of your life or give you a knee replacement I said of course the knee replacement so I remember thinking wow you know I knew I had a cousin who had had a knee replacement, but she was a bit older. When I got the replacement done, before he said, now I will tell you, um, you're gonna have to have it done every 10 years for the rest of your life. So at 21, that's a lot of 10 years. Um, normally, older people got them done. So if, if, if someone was 70 or um, 80 years old and they got a replacement, you know, they may <laughs> be around to get one or two more. So I remember I was like one of the youngest at the time to have a knee replacement. I got the knee replacement and honestly, um, I'm thankful for it because of that I was still able to go on and live a normal life. Um, I couldn't do all the things I wanted to do. I had already graduated college, and so my dreams of a basketball career were um, done. But I still had my music, and I was still able to perform and things like that. But um, I'm thankful for it because I was able to um, take my kids to the playground, I wasn't able to run that fast, but I even, um, I remember doing, playing one-on-one -on -one with my husband. 
playing basketball and going to the court. Um, I even coached that girls team. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I kept, um, during the replacement, they kept my original kneecap. I know this all sounds weird, but I'm just trying to give you the backstory. Um, so years later, I'm older. I forgot to tell you, I never got um, the replacement done again. You know how they said I was, I was supposed to have it done every 10 years? I never got it done. I just kept on going. Um, surgeries for me are just really rough. Well, two years ago, um, and because of my knee issues, and like I said, the knee replacement did me well, but the older I got, and without getting it replaced again and again, you know, I had some wear and tear on it. <laughs> um, and it's one of the old fashioned knee replacements. Now they have something new where if you get the, I don't know if it's titanium, I don't know what it is, but if you get a replacement done now, you don't really have to get it done every 10 years. So. I got the old style, my original kneecap. Never got another replacement. I've just been working with this one. And over the years, I've always been careful um, because I don't want to go through the pain of hurting myself. And sometimes the pain or things would happen without me being too physical. Like if I turn the wrong way, um, you know, two years ago, I ended up uh, missing a step in my house and trying to protect my knee, I ended up breaking my ankle, uh, my tibia and my fibula I'm on my right leg, the same leg with the knee replacement. Um, so I had some trauma and I'm still waiting for the doctor to come in. So. If I close out, I'll be right back. I've had some trauma with my knee and I'll show you my knee um, in a moment. But I also broke my ankle. Um, I'm older now, I'm heavier, um, even though I'm a former athlete and I have the mind and the heart of an athlete because of my knee. Um, so Kayla, don't have, don't have work for that, okay? So okay, I'm Sorry, because of my knee, I can't run the way I want to. Hold on one second. Alright, so these are my x-rays. So as you can see on the left, that's my knee replacement. The right, that's um, my left knee. <laughs> and the left. That's my right knee. So, go to that one. That's the replacement. Still have my kneecap. And that one. I think, I don't know if I can. what's going on YouTube I'm just getting out of the doctor's office so I just wanted to um, check in with y'all real quick so I can pick up where I left off so yeah the doctor came in but I think I left off with um, I got the knee replacement I was able to um, live a normal life with that replacement the doctor did really good but like I said, technology is something else. So now they have a newer style and what I have in my knee would be considered old equipment. So, um, naturally over the years, I've gained weight. Like I said, the athlete in me wants to work out, even um, eating right, I still need to be physical. 
but everything that I do sort of um, causes some discomfort. Um, oh, I know what I was saying. Two years ago, I ended up uh, missing a step in my house and I broke my tibia and fibula on the same leg, the right leg. And, um, listen, that was some serious, serious pain, y'all. Um, I'm not young, I'm heavier, you know, so I don't like surgeries, I don't like hospitals, not that people do, but, um, I was distraught. It, did something to me not only physically but mentally and emotionally I wasn't able to do the things I needed to do but I gotta give a big kudos and big up to my family my husband he held it down uh, all the while he was working my kids listen my kids were the bomb my son my baby girl they helped me out so much so I'm gonna take a minute and say thank you guys um, so yes, all of that on the right leg. Because of that, I try to compensate, and now the left knee is giving me, uh, some trouble and causing some issues, and also my back. So, I've been putting it off and putting it off, um. I didn't know, I went to a doctor a few years ago because I was having some, um, like when this all started, now it's just excruciating. I wake up in the middle of the night, I can't move my leg, it's stiff. If I try to move it, it hurts so bad. Um, I have, the pain is so bad sometimes, like I just, I don't know, I can't take it, I can't explain it. I don't want to go through it, uh, even when I try to walk, you know, it affects my back, so, um, physically, I'm not able to do a lot, and then when I am able to, I try to get everything out of the way, <laughs> because I, you know, but I always, you know, end up back in pain, because I've overdone it, does that make sense, okay. So, back to the doctor and back to the surgery. So, I had the ankle done, um, and now here I am with this excruciating pain, and I've been trying to put it off because I've been so afraid that when I go to the doctor, the doctor's going to say, you need surgery. Um, and with all the surgeries I've had, and the recent surgery with my... Sorry about the sun. And the recent surgery with my ankle and the pain and everything that I went through, not being able to do things, I'm just not excited about having another surgery.